Now when I first got my GH4 a couple years ago, I had this one lens which was actually special as well, which is called the Tokina 11-16. I think that was an f2.8 lens. It was super wide and I used that lens a ton and I really ran like super wide angle shots to the ground in my personal production. It got to a point where I was just like, man, I'm so tired of seeing these shots. I want to get back to my really close up and intricate shots, uh, detail shots of like the different B-rolls and stuff that I was putting into my video production. So. I kind of burned it out, but since I got this lens, it's kind of reignited that flame, man. And I wanted to show you guys what exactly this lens is and what it can do. So for starters, this is the Lawa 7.5 millimeter f2.8. And this particular model of this lens is only for micro four thirds. So if you are on a GH4 or GH5, I think Blackmagic pocket cinema cameras are micro four thirds mount as well. And you know, it's other micro four thirds mount cameras out there on the market. So this lens is gonna work for those types of cameras. Now Lawa does make a lens that is equivalent to this for the Sony mounts as well. I'll link that down in the description, but this particular lens that we're gonna be talking about is a 7.5 millimeter and it's for micro four thirds. So you guys know I use a GH5 and this lens for the GH5, absolutely insane. And I'm gonna tell you guys why. Hold on really quick. Let me grab a lens so you guys can see the size of this in comparison. So look, for starters, size comparison on this lens. This is the Sigma 35 millimeter f1.4. This is my favorite lens that I own. I love this lens. I use it for pretty much everything that I do. This is the Lawa 7.5 millimeter. Now just look at the size comparison of these two lenses. Now like, look at this. This is literally fitting in between my two fingertips. Look at this. Um, and I'm also gonna show you guys it next to my 100 millimeter, which I also love. And size comparison to this, this, the size of this lens is actually really similar to the Sigma 18-35, which I'm using right now, which I would show you guys, but I just, I'm using the lens. So size comparison, you can see this thing is freaking tiny. So for starters, this is a really small lens. Now price point for the Lawa 7.5 millimeter F2 point lens, this is coming in at $500, which is a really good price for what this can do. Now, like I said, for one starters, this thing is super small. This thing goes all the way down to an F2 aperture. So this is gonna be really good for anybody trying to capture some low light shots. And this thing can actually focus really, really, really close. If you guys look at these shots, like this thing can do borderline macro shots. And I think that's insane. So with you getting actually really close to your subject with this, you're able to produce some really nice depth off of this lens. It produces a really crazy look. It's like super wide, but it can also do depthy shots. This is just like a jack of all trades in a sense. So for the Micro Four Thirds sensor, a lens conversion of this, if you're using any lens on Micro Four Thirds, you have to basically multiply the focal length of it by two to get it to an equivalent of full frame. So if you've ever used 15 millimeters on full frame, this is like a, gonna be a similar look that you're gonna be achieving with this lens on a GH5 or a GH4 or any other Micro Four Thirds camera. Now besides the Micro Four Thirds mount, the size, the aperture range, this thing has a couple other things going for You're either gonna love these things or you're gonna hate them. Me personally, I love them just because my shooting style, but I know these features are gonna turn some of you guys completely off. The first thing to note on this lens is it's completely manual. Now, manual down to the point where you can do aperture adjustments right here on the lens, and it has no electronic aperture adjustment within the lens, so this thing is completely manual. Now, GH5 struggles. So I know that this is gonna turn some of you guys completely off from this. Now, the reason why it doesn't bother me because I never use autofocus within my video production anyways. Well, my music video production anyways. Another reason that this isn't really that big of a deal is this lens is so wide. So a lot of the times, pretty much everything is in focus. It's not a zoomed focal length. So when you're shooting pretty wide, a lot of the stuff within the shot tends to be 
actually in focus. Now, another reason that this doesn't really matter that this lens is completely manual is because the autofocus within the GH5 kind of sucks. So it's like, I don't know if the autofocus worked anyways, I wouldn't use it. Um, and you know, I'm just a manual focus user primarily anyway. So this is completely manual lens, everything down to the aperture adjustments. You can do no focusing within the camera with this lens, it's completely manual. Now, another reason that I like the fact that you can adjust the aperture right here on the lens on the fly is it allows me to keep a lot of my settings within the camera the same a lot of the times. I never have to go into the camera and adjust the shutter speed of the ISO, depending on the different exposure changes within the shot. I can just reach down, grab the lens, twist it to a lower aperture range and keep these shots looking consistent in terms of the amount of motion blur that they have and as well as just the overall quality with me not having to adjust the actual ISO within the shot. So I personally find these features about this lens really convenient. So this is really a love it or hate it type of lens. You either really love wide angle shots, you don't really like them, you kind of hate them, they're just all right to you. For me personally, it's super lightweight and it's super small, so it allows me to get into these really tight spaces. I've been using this a ton with my DJI Iron and S, and the type of mobility that I'm able to produce with this lens and that combo is just nuts. So there it is. This is a super small, super wide angle lens with a low aperture. It's small, you can get into really small spaces with it. You can shoot some low light stuff with it. It's kind of a really dope lens for the price. I mean, hey, you know, it's up to you guys. Check it out. It's a really cool lens. But like I said, if you're on the Sony, um, I believe they have an alternative to this. So I'll link that down in the description as well. Let me know what you guys think about this. Let me know what you guys think about the shots. And are you guys more of really close up shooters? Do you enjoy the super wide aspects? I know a lot of people do travel films, so this lens could be kind of crucial for you guys as well. So I don't know, let me know down in the comments, man. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop it a like, comment, also subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Peace out, guys.